Right. Hello guys. Like I said in the last episode, or clip, whatever it was, I was going to show you... Right, hello YouTube. As I said in the last vlog, I was going to show you what I wear on my bike. And this is it. Here we are, this is what I, this is what I uh, ride around in. It's quite nice, it's comfortable. Some of you may be thinking, oh, he must be joking. Well, of course I am. I wore that last night, and you're going to have to excuse me, because I am still so hungover. It's my end-of-year ball. And I had so much to drink on an empty stomach. And it is now 10 o'clock at night, and I'm still feeling it from yesterday. <laughs> I really am. So... Here, excuse the mess, it's still tisserand and stuff all strewn everywhere from last night. So I've got a lot on the phone as well, which I'm not happy about. This is all my stuff. So you just run through it all. I've got a HJC IS16 helmet. They're good. AR. It is. I don't know if you can see that. British Motorcycle Sport have given it a certificate stamp, so it's able to be used, able to be used on track days and stuff like that. Cool it helmet. I just recently just brought this new visor for it. Comes with this plain clear visor. Try it out of the way. I've come and got this for it. It's like twenty quid or something from China or Korea wherever it was I just think it looks boss it looks so much better I've got the helmet is something like I think it's at 120 which I suppose isn't that bad for a, or a helmet the helmet itself um, good air vents all over the top got a little chin vent at the bottom there and these side vents here which I've covered up with sellotape to uh, stop wind noise when I'm doing the vlogs and stuff. They've also got side vents at the back there, here, yeah, and just here as well. Main feature on this helmet, which you'll see, it's got fully removable breath guard, cheek pads, I've had to take them out to get the mic out. And it's also got the integrated sun visor, which I don't really need anymore, due to having the shadowed visor. I have brought, this is all recent, in the last couple of months, I've brought a new balaclava, because before I had a, had a, um, just a cheek one, like, went up to the cheeks, didn't go around the whole head. This is so much more comfy. Worn wore it not too long ago and it is lovely it's so nice and warm and cozy for my jacket I have a it's a RST don't know what it is Contour Plus I guess that's just a that's a, a generic term for their pads and stuff I'm not actually sure what it's called Vented though, Contour Plus, Integrated Contour Plus, blah de blah blah. Exhaust vent. You just pick them up anyway, let's go search for it. It's a really good jacket. It's got back pad as you saw, shoulder pads, elbow pads, lots of pockets inside and that, and it also comes with the um, uh, winter lining, which I suppose all jackets do. And uh, it's got these side pockets here, which I keep all my documents in if I get pulled over. Which I never do, of course, because I'm never speeding. I've also just gone and brought a high vis for nighttime riding. I won't wear it during the day. I'm not that, not that safety conscious. Although I keep being reminded by my parents I should do. But I just think uh, I'm still 17 and still care about my appearance. Well, still 18, sorry. Yeah, I've got my own age. Gloves, they are Frank Thomas, not entirely sure what make they are, Kevlar knuckles, 
Kevlar finger points. Really, really good type of glove. Got soft protection there. Good vented. Not waterproof, however, and they smell really, really bad. Over the past couple of weeks, where we've had the really bad weather, and uh, washed them three or four times, still hasn't got the smell out. Got these recently, my other ones, inner gloves. Decided to split. Mm, bit cable in the way. Yeah, decided to split. I've actually got the mic hanging out my mouth at the moment, so this is why I'm sounding like I've got my fingers over my nose, that's why. They're really quite good. Good to get a pair of those if you haven't got a winter pair of gloves. I do, but I just find them too chunky and these are much better. Uh, the gloves and these Knox pads, these are really good, I'll just wear wear these underneath, strap on knee pads and uh, they just go underneath like a pair of box shorts, got full, fully movable inside. And you see one of the pads sticking out there. Really good. Very safe. Don't look that bad underneath a pair of jeans. I really want to sell these and uh, get a pair of those dragon jeans. The, um, they're not Kevlar. I don't know what they're made out of. Stronger material than Kevlar. Well, the dragon jeans are. These are just CE approved foam armour. Uh, what else? I got these. Not too recently. They are Nitro NB41 boots. And you see that there? Uh, reflective rear bit on the f back there. I might just went there from my mouth. They are very good. I really do like them. Very sporty looking boot. However, I just think they look incredibly chunky once they're on my feet though. But I did have a pair of um uh, this. I did have a pair of Sparda, Sparda Icon boots. There's a short style touring boot that only sort of came up to came up to here. And uh I just couldn't get used to them, they're too thick, they came up to this high and I was just like, oh god. I couldn't change gear in them whatsoever. I wore them in, I wore, wore them down to my aunt's in Somerset. Not said Somerset, sorry, near Warminster. And uh oh, shit. <laughs> Changing gears just an absolute nightmare. But these ones I haven't had that much trouble with, to be honest. I picked them off of eBay. Read a couple of reviews first, they seemed okay. So I went with those, they're about uh, 60, I believe. But yeah, really good pair of boots. You know, camera picking up that reflective bit there. I do like them. Toe sliders on them as well. There's a plus, so I'm not going to get my toes down on the 125 on the Yamaha. It's never going to happen. Just going to have to wait. Um, what else have I got? I know there's something else. Oh, yeah. Like I said in the last video, I was going to show you the helmet setup. <coughs> so, this is where I mount the helmet, obviously. Mount the camera, sorry. Oh, there's some. Like a boss, I can't use one hand like some people do. So she's got the mount on the side there. Ooh, cheap paddle. No. Mount goes on. Slides in obviously as a 3.5 mil adapter bit you can put loads of adapters on. I lost a clip to the mic so I don't have anywhere to clip it, so I got hanging out of my mouth for a moment. Uh what else? Uh, slides on there, I can change the view up and down and with a little lens I can change it left and right I'll actually show you, I'll stick the helmet on keep the visor down no, no, I'll show you first where I put the wire we have got in here so the lead comes out the back of the camera here get tucks in tucks in down behind here and I actually just put the cable in there, I don't know if you can see it. And there's, there's a little pocket behind the strap. And I tuck the excess cable in there. And then the rest of it comes 
out behind here through the back of those popping clips through the inside of here and then it comes and just pops out of here just like that just popping out of there don't know if you heard that or not but yeah it's good helmet I like it and I'll just show you how How the camera looks once it's attached. Oh, just give me an absolute mission. Sorry, guys, bear with me. So, I uploaded the first video. Let's keep commentary going. And I think I've got 15 viewers on it so far, which is alright, I suppose, for the first video. I mean, when you start doing more, more and more videos, then people start viewing the other ones and just want to get a bigger audience really I need to I think I'm gonna start uploading more videos uh, more videos every every couple of days just so I reach a little wider audience that's all you gotta do really I guess put that back on there and I'm gonna put you down for a second then if any of you not my top it is a birthday top no it's not not birthday top what am I on about I am wearing it to Malia I think it's quite a cool top and this is fogging up quite a bit it's a new visor yeah. so yeah guys as you see come just clips on there like that oh, I can't see you on there like that and then I just twist it a little bit so that's mm, less in centre and that's how I do my vlogs and I think that new visor looks absolutely beastie so yeah comment rate subscribe and I'll see you again soon bye bye